was an emotional week for myself, really. My older brothers was on the phone to me while I was in the bubble. Uh, and they, I had to say my last goodbyes to their dad as they turned off his life support machine, which was a hard, a hard weird, hard, and uh, very upsetting. And he was looking forward to watching. And I imagine, because he got rushed into hospital and was on a life support machine, he, he might have got the fight to reach off so he could get a better seat in heaven and watch it with some of my other loved ones up there. There's been a lot going around about being emotional and emotionally attached to Fiat. I was more emotionally attached to fighting in Eddie's garden uh, and I had emotions in my personal life. And I had a little rant and I didn't know how that come across because I was a bit emotional and a bit uh, and I thought, shit, I've let people down by being emo emotional or upset or even a bit angry, I had a bit of a rant at him, which was all just heat at the moment. But I just have to, when Jamie Moore said I was emotionally attached to the Fiaz fault, it 100% was nothing to do with Fiaz. Fiaz has got to come again. I'll tell you now, if I was unwell and I pulled out of the fight, I wouldn't be here today getting my chance again. That's fact. <laughs> Well, he said to me the day before the weigh-in about making the weight, which I was shocked. I'd never had anyone say that to me before. I don't, I don't even know he'd know why he said it. I don't know why he said it. It didn't really bother me. I think he was just testing the waters to see what leeway he had. I don't know. I don't want to say too much, but um, I know in my heart of hearts what, what, what I believe. Um, and I think we both, had, we both had a struggle being away from home. Uh, and making weight was unusual for both of us uh, and I think he come off worse than I did. Uh, I've had a lot of people message me. Um, I don't know if he's done anything wrong, I don't know. If, but they're, they're more supporting me now than they were supporting Fiaz. And some of these people were, was supporting Fiaz before, but um, they said he's done a lot of this, mate, missing weight and things in the amateurs. So, um, and he had things his own way in the amateurs and if he weren't ready to fight, the fights got pulled. So he's known for it. I don't know nothing, I can't, but this is what I've been told. I'm absolutely buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Match room. Uh, Eddie and they stuck to the word um, and it was been a hard wait waiting for the date and everything to come around but yeah they stuck to the word and I'm back out, I'm back out again I'm in the same position just with more more interest. <laughs> right. I'm interview off Eddie and he says uh, Sunday after the football and it's kind of, kind of I can see it working really well. Sport day, yeah, yeah. yeah there's going to be thousands of people watching the football. Oh, boxing's coming along, wherever they are, wherever they're at home, they're going to keep it on and watch it, definitely. Yeah, I'm ready to go straight away. Um, we know the tactics, we know the plan. Um, and it could all go out the window and I could just go back to what I know, having a good tear off. But either way, it's going to get 110% of me and I'm going to leave everything in that ring. I know the job in hand and I ain't going to um, lose sleep over it or try and, I know what I've got to do, I know my strengths and uh, I'm just going to really show and, show and improve my strengths and just take them to the ring and that should be enough. Just please turn up mate.